Are you ready to learn about debits and credits? Sure. It sounds like fun. Okay, let's get started. Remember that we use the double entry method of accounting to track where things come from and where they go. Every transaction is going to involve a debit and a credit, and debits must equal credits for every transaction. Is that because of the accounting equation? That's right. Assets of two equal liabilities plus owner's equity. We want to put company resources on one side of the equation, and who has a claim on the company resources on the other? What are debits and credits? Suppose that we create two terms, and assign one to each side of the accounting equation. The debit, or left side, lists out all of the stuff the company has, and the credit, or right side talks about who has a claim to those resources. What kind of claims of resources are there? Resources can be claimed by creditors in the form of liabilities, or by owners through owner's equity. You should think of owner's equity as being what is left over after paying off all of your obligations. So is it like a situation where, if I have $1,000 in the bank, that would be my resources, but if I owe my room at $200 then, owner's equity is really $800? Yup. That is exactly right. Now let's go through how debits and credits work. We use the term debit to represent increases in company resources. When we acquire a new resource, say when we use $200 cash to buy new inventory, we debit our inventory account to reflect ownership of the new items. What do we do to talk about how we got that inventory? That is where credits come in. We use the term credit to represent claims on company resources. We need to show what was given up in exchange for the inventory, so we credit our cash account to reflect the fact that our bank balance has gone down. I see. It looks like the supplier has claimed part of the firm by taking our cash. However, since they gave us an equal amount of inventory, the overall value of the firm hasn't changed. Exactly. Here is another example of how credits work. Suppose that you sell some services to a client in exchange for $100 cash. You need to reflect that as an owner, this has just increased the value of the firm by $100, and you have claim to all of it. Therefore, you are going to credit an owner's equity account for $100. When we are talking about something operational, that account will be sales revenue. Doesn't the company have a new resource too because of the $100 in cash that came in? Absolutely. Way to remember that we will need to debit our cash account for $100. What if we had to incur some costs to make that revenue possible? Great question. Suppose that you had to pay an employee $50 cash to help you provide the services to your customer. Given that you have $50 less in your bank, you need to credit the cash account for $50. In a sense, the employee has claimed some of the company's resources. We have to also show that the firm is worth $50 less because of the cost of these wages, so we need to debit an owner's equity account. Given that this is operational, we will use an expense account, and in this case it is salary's expense. It looks like we have made some money based on these transactions. How do we deal with that? You are right. Revenue is $100, expenses were $50, so net income is $50. This means that the owner's share in the company has just increased by $50. This is going to be reflected in owner's equity through retained earnings. This whole debits and credits thing isn't as hard as I thought. Thanks. No problem. I am a really big accounting nerd, and I get the real kick out of this stuff.